as a veteran spouse, I probably have uh, not experienced a lot of the barriers that um, veterans do when it comes to medical cannabis, but I can relate in some ways, and I think that my experience is still going to military doctors and hospitals as a veteran spouse when, when I was seeking uh, cannabis for medicine. Um, I think it highlights the absurdity of what veterans do have to go through because of the federal ban. Um, I have multiple sclerosis and I've developed chronic pain from um, the medications, oddly enough, um, ironically enough, the medications that they were giving me for my multiple sclerosis and the symptoms um, accumulated in having my liver go into failure which then meant um, the chronic pain that had ensued um, could not be treated by the same medications that they wanted to give me. So I was a regular at the pain clinic um, after that, and it really surprised me how easily I could have gotten uh, Marinol, the synthetic version. Um, each doctor wanted to prescribe me Marinol. Every time I would see another doctor, they'd say, well, I can give you a prescription to Marinol. And one in particular even said to me, you know, I have no problem with it. Marinol, I think, might even be the number one uh, prescribed medication we give here at the, at the pain clinic. To me, that alone, that statement alone, should you know, bring up a whole host of questions. And, and, and to me, it, it, it really does point to the absurdity of the way that veterans are treated when it comes to medical cannabis.